welcome back to convivial tech so in this video i want to show you how to manually update your lg phone you know that lg phones usually have at least 200 firmware updates which means if your phone comes with android 6 you get to update it up to android 8 if it comes with with android 8 you get android 10 you get to update it to 12 and so on now this lg g5 F700L came with Android 6 and I was able to manually update it to Android version 8 which is the current Android version now. Now imagine sometimes you won't be able to do update your phone through update center especially when the phone no longer has support from LG. When such happens, it means when you go to software updates, check for updates, you may not be able to get updates to download. For this one, I still have some updates to do after successfully updating to Android 8 manually. Now, if you want to do that manually, you need a PC for that. So let's wait for this a little. Checking for updates, for available updates, please wait. Um, okay, while well, we are waiting for this, um, just make sure you are connected to the internet on your on your pc and then open up a browser i prefer using microsoft edge so i'll open microsoft edge now since the phone is lg g5 there are several models of lg g5 there's g5 f 700 l which is this g5 f 700 s which is still with me here and then there's um there are other versions of it so this is not working at this point i'll just close it out a network issue so um just ensure you know your software version this one is f700l30g this is the what i need the f700l so i'll just go to my browser and type in lg f700l firmware download now you can see there's f700s and 700l is our case study today so i'll just open it up my internet is kind of slowing down let me see if i can switch um let me switch okay so let me check again okay the second network is working so now here's what i was saying earlier lg g5 h850 then g5 vs 987 g5 vs 987 t so you need to know your exact g5 which is why you need that software version info so i'll open up this now it's saying um android 8 oreo which is the highest the latest um android version for this now from this os uh, column you are seeing unknown unknown then for this one it's android 7 nugget 7 nugget 8 oreo 8 oreo to the last 8 oreo now this is 12 12 
June 2018, 4th of September 2018, 30th of October 2018, 11th of December 2018, and then 28th of May 2019. This was what I wanted to download, but um, I think the link has expired or something. I couldn't download it. I ended up doing the 11th December 2018. So I'll just click on it, close this, and then scroll down tells you you have 700 l blah 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 i'm not a robot wait for it then you click on download it starts a 20 second countdown just hold on for the 20 second countdown to be completed 11 10 9 8 once the 20 second countdown is completed you can now do other things um it will not show you get file so once it says get file i'll click on get file then it starts downloading but since i already have it which is why you are seeing l 700 l 30 g 00 bracket one bracket uh -huh. this means i already have something similar now the next thing you need to do is to get your LG driver installed for your PC to be able to recognize your LG phone, then your Qualcomm Snapdragon. The, there are links in the description for the two videos on how to get these two drivers and install them on your PC properly. Now when you are done with that, the next thing is to get a particular flash tool i use which is uh, some fw frp2 it's the best tool so far i use it for both frp and um, flashing and it works very well on lg phones i stopped using lg 2014 flash tool it's i don't it doesn't work on virtually all lg phones especially the newer models so I I had to switch. Now make sure the latest version of Sam FW2 requires that you are connected to the internet. So once you're connected to the internet, just go to just open up your Sam FW2 version 4.9, which is currently the latest as at the time of this video. Now I'll go to LG and then I'll go to the um, sorry LG up now I'll select the firmware I downloaded it's supposed to be here F700 L 30G so this is it now my LG phone I'll switch it off once I switch it off I'll get my USB type C cable and then while holding my volume up button i'll plug in my cable and then the phone goes into download mode just allow it it's still on download mode now everything is working well now because i already have my drivers installed you are now seeing lg android net usb modem and then the second one which is what we need lg android net serial ports so this is F700L, we've selected everything. Now you have to watch for this place. Then I'll click on flash. You can also use this to um, flash your, your LG phone if it's kind of misbehaving. Also ensure you are connected to the internet so that it can verify if you are flashing the right firmware see lgrom.com and f700s so now that the flashing process has started you are now seeing com 32 um 10 percent 11 percent likewise on the pc the pc is already on 21 percent this is still on 17. so you just have to wait when it gets around um, 79, between 78 and 80, the phone will automatically turn itself on. You don't have to panic at that point. 
just allow it to continue its flashing then once it's done everything it will reboot itself severally don't panic don't be afraid that you've spoiled your phone or anything just hold on relax and everything will be all right so it's currently at 49 50 um your phone is now on 50 on 60 percent while the pc is now lagging behind unlike earlier when your pc was faster than the phone now your phone once it gets to um 100 it should reboot reboot itself and your pc should now be lagging behind by some percentage so the phone is almost done it's now on 88 the pc is on 70 something 81 now 92 93 4 95 96 97 at 100 the phone will reboot and then around 80 percent on the pc um, your phone will still continue you don't have to unplug your phone at this point because it's still flashing erasing and everything you only get to unplug when it stops going on your pc so on your pc it has started again 80 now it will count to 100 and then tell you the phone has been successfully flashed etc etc so this method can be used to update your phone's firmware manually it can also be used to flash your phone if you are having a firmware issue let's say your settings is no longer clicking one or two apps are failing unnecessarily your camera software is no longer responsive your phone is slowing down freezing hanging whatever you can use this method to do everything so you just have to be patient enough um we are in another phase it's now 84 percent on the pc 17 percent on the phone it's now flashing and trying to update your firmware so remember this is currently android 8 i would have shown you how to how when i did it from 6 to 8 but there's no need it's still the same process once you get the right firmware for your phone and then you follow this little procedure you get the same desired result which is moving from one android version to a higher android version if that's what you intend to do if that's not what you intend to do and you just want to flash your phone this will still help you flash your phone successfully now the whole process is beginning to come to an end 88 on your pc like i said earlier your phone might restart severally it's normal it's okay at this point you don't have to be afraid of anything nothing is wrong with your phone nothing is going wrong and nothing should go wrong as long as you get the normal the exact firmware you need so the phone is put in I'll just it has say on your p on my PC now it's saying subject name LG electronics file is signed and the signature was verified blah 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 finish flash which means we are done I'll select United Kingdom next next skip skip anyway for next next no thanks skip anyway more accept so just select one done now the phone is almost done android finishing update
So I will go to general. Sorry, not support. I'll not support again about Android 8, which means everything worked out well and you can now set up your phone and start your usage. So this is how to do a manual update on your LG phone or flash your LG phone. So this is it guys. You can share this video so that other people, you can like and share this video so that others can be helped by this little video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. When you subscribe and hit the notification icon, once we release these awesome videos, you'll be among the first to be notified. See you in another video. Goodbye.